Oh my goodness. Hi. Uh, welcome to Tuesday, November 28th, 2023. What the hell? What is going oh, on? Wrong. Hold on. Uh, I got uh, my hair. Oh. Uh, now it looks like Robin's hair. Wait, what was that? What is going on here? Is the that our, I found. Is that our wig? Is that our wig for the puppet? It can be the wig for the puppet. Just oh, yeah, it, it, is, it is his new style. See? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right. So just so you all know, um, I got a BOGO at Publix for Briar's ice cream. Oh, and I um I just discovered the Rocky Road, which is my favorite ice cream. In the whole wide world. So that's what I'm eating. I don't care if you guys don't like it. <sighs> yeah. I just don't care. Um, I don't know where Xavier is. I know he had some shit to do today. So he, he comes, he comes, he doesn't, he doesn't. That's okay. So they were complaining about the, the one minute late start. The oh. line of the night is Irie one, I guess it is. She writes, I'll never get that minute back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love common sarcasm. That's classic Irie. I love our listeners. I have to tell you. <laughs> I'll never I, get that minute back. I just absolutely adore all of you, except for like, I don't know, there's maybe four or five of you are just absolute pricks. But other than that, you guys, you guys are awesome. Yeah, I know I should eat before the show. No, I think Gunga Din wants Gunga Din wants a free show. He wants you to lick the spoon. <laughs> I, know. I know. Oh my god, I am one thousand percent doing the puppet. I did a lot of research today. I think I can find one for about $125, $130. The problem is, is that a lot of people buy them as Christmas gifts. So it takes a long time to get them. All right. I know I shouldn't be eating during the show. So let me just finish it. I want to see Ida confiscate a group of a gaggle of puppets in a Chicago raid and then give it to ah. her free. <laughs> she hits the streets. And they <laughs> all look, blue they all look the like junk candy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hold on, let me just put this away. Give me a second. All right, so I love the thought of Ida in like a full matching teal sweatsuit in self defense class doing that little, you know, the like trip that. move where you put your left foot behind the thing to flip them over and then you flip them over your back. And I've, I've used that several times. She does times. the full sumo toss. She does. <laughs> <You're kidding. laughs> all right, so this is a bourbon, a little bit of bitters, well, orange bitters because I don't have any orange. And then I'm going to add a little Campari to make it like a, uh, a I guess a Gindaloon old fashioned. What are you making? What, what are you having? Uh, some bourbon with a little orange bitters and some uh, Campari because it's cold uh, and it, I need to be warmed up. Look at me! I have a sweatshirt on. It's freezing. I'm it's, freezing. It's, it's, it's 46 degrees outside right now. Isn't that crazy, Robin? Freezing. Um, oh, I feel so much better now. Yeah, I, I just want to make note of the fact that because I was eating ice cream, I don't care if you don't like that I'm eating ice cream on air because this is a free show. And so <clears throat> we, you know, we, we, we drink, we eat, we cough, we cackle. We you could have three meals like Howard did back in the day with Grillo, making them That's true. wipe off the the del poor bass. Imagine that poor no. bass in the deli no. at 5 a.m. cleaning the grill no. for Howard's fucking no. egg whites. So Swedish asylum seeker had mentioned on yesterday's show that he had listened to a fight between Howard and Allison. I know. I know. Outside my house right now. 46 to 46. Oh, my God. In Tampa? Yeah. It's cold. Wow, no wonder why the lightning moved there, Dennis. <laughs> Canada, <down there. laughs> it's chilly okay by me it is 57 57 degrees <laughs> uh, that's crazy no one's i'm not allowed to smoke in my house otherwise i would i'd light a cigar up and have my bourbon it'd be i have a party yeah you don't have, you don't have a wife who actually slays you where you sleep so there's that that's why I don't Monique, do it Speaking of what you were going with that, uh, so Allison and Howard's and, and money and stuff, is there any way – we could write to this one. Who knows better than Dominic Barber about the whole scenario? Babe, I email Dominic Barber or call him at least once a month. He that is – writes back to me, and I don't know what's going on with him. Uh -oh. I thought he loved me. He's supposed to love me. He told uh -oh. me he loved me, and I have not heard anything from him. And I don't know what's going on with him. He used to uh -oh. listen to our show religiously. <clears throat> Remember, he had COVID. He had heart yeah. issues. 
But then he met some girl and he fell madly in love with her in Palm Beach. And that's the last I heard from him. I'm a pussy fog, Malik. Exactly. <laughs> um, I so audio. I found audio of oh yeah, Howard Don't admitting to wait. I was going to go back to the Allison Howard thing. That's so yes. the fight was just so prescient. I mean, it's just delicious. And she's like, "I don't care. Move out. Go sleep in a hotel." Go get your own apartment. I am so sick of you. And it was just insanity. And What's the year? Mm, was it 97, 96? I would say 98. These are very good questions that you ask. But he's like, you have a cleaning woman. You don't clean. You don't cook. You don't even have to buy food. All you have to do, you don't even barely take care of the kids. I mean, it is. Yeah, it's, they, it was that, was, that was not <laughs> uncommon back then. Well, yeah, we 22 minutes long, she is really fuming at him. And I was going to cut it up for tonight's show, but A, we it deserve to be do cut it. up, and B, it deserves its own little game. A little story. special. A little, little, little special. Something, little something, something. So maybe next week um, we can kind of get our shit together on like a – well, it depends on when John's doing a show. Um, but maybe Friday we can – I have okay. parties. I have parties to go to on Friday night. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. The deafening is a party, Dennis. So maybe on like Saturday. Maybe we can do like a Saturday late afternoon, not a possibility time show, and we can expose this because it's it's quite delicious and it's not even worthy of a cleaning out the computer. It's absolutely something that we yeah, should. Yeah, it's own show. Um. Okay. So today's show. Today's show. Yeah, today's show. This today's was show. um this was basically floor melon that was rotting that they found behind the cabinet. <laughs> it's hairy floor melon. It's like <laughs> it's hairy rotted in the refrigerator. Like a dried little piece of apricot at this point. It's just it's like wild. dried, disgusting floor melon. And I um I had some stuff to do today. So I listened to a little bit of the show and then I left and then I came back and I saw that we were only on like four pages and I was like, all right, yeah. one of those yeah. shows. Just one of those shows. Yeah. I actually uh, I actually changed out a carburetor during during this <laughs> during the nine o'clock hour because I was so bored. Um okay, but but that but then you know, because of the grace of God, Beth came down and oh, it saved and, the show uh, once again. Yes, and and just uh, wait, hold on herself to be the adult that she is. And what are you doing? There she here it comes. <laughs> it's a trotting down the stairs. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a trotting noise for us. <laughs> oh, I don't have a trotting noise. What do I have? I don't have a trotting noise. You know, I meant to. You, you have Ron Trotta in the in the thread making noise. <laughs> I used to. I I knew somebody named Trotta, and he was I Trotta. <laughs> yeah, he was such a cute boy. Did he have red hair and look like Blake Griffin? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to. Been meaning to download this. I just. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So today's show. Let's uh, let's talk about it. We, yeah, there's really nothing to talk about. I mean, he, he did some show, and then Beth came down, and then they walked out, and that was show. And that was show. And, you know, you had enough candle, and and that was it. So let's start the show with uh, went right into it. Went right into some weird commercial for some stupid Netflix show. Um, I got a little excited and uh, then I, I lose sleep. But last night I zonked out. I got into bed early. I must have got into bed about seven o'clock. And I, uh, I'm now, I'm now into this thing. Before I go to bed, I watch Netflix. They, um, I guess they own the rights to every episode of SWAT. I don't know the show. Have you ever watched it? Was it was on years ago. It was on syndicated when I was a kid. Like on Dennis, you remember like on Channel 9? Is this, no, I, is this no, I think this, no, is, this is the remake. remake. Oh, it's they did a remake. remake of it. Lou Ferrigno Jr. apparently is in it. <laughs> is he that ever really aired. <laughs> Why am and, I uh, I'm into season two now. And I mean, it must be like 22 episodes. 
So this is what he's doing with his free time because he has no free time and he has no time to do anything except yeah. paint and clean. Oh, no, no. But he doesn't have time to paint. Remember, he, he doesn't have time to do two things. Yeah. But he Chess, can... the number one thing prisoners and homeless people do. That's exactly. all the time. Yeah. So whatever that is, it is. I don't know. Maybe you need to pull out and pull back in. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's what she That's said. Too, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want me to do that? You want me to pull? No, he let him pull out. He'll just get his sound to yeah. back. It was dead. I'm not going to. Are you? Yep. Pull out. Come, come back in. It could be you though. Too. Everybody, come back. Joining Ida's lead. Thank you, Sue M. I love Sue M. Sue M usually comes in. Um, okay, you guys still echoing? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. I, oh. I am. Yeah, I think I am. Clearly yeah. it's me, my friends. Clearly it is me. I'm going okay. to leave the studio. I, I will come. Luckiest, man. I hate you so much. I absolutely hate you. <laughs> JMD, Dennis, has a great idea. How about a bowling alley, sat, bowling lane sound effects? Either oh show God. it or have What are we thinking not having that? JMD, oh, yeah, that absolutely. is a brilliant idea. The pin setter. <laughs> Knocking the pins down, racking them back up. I found a clip today of Beth. Okay, are we actually? Fred played horsey sound effects. No, when we're Beth good. Came on. Are you serious? Yeah. Fred played horsey sounds? Trying. It was It was meant for Howard, but it was very It was weird. meant for Howard because wow. they were talking about the puppets, and they were talking about the fact that he had, like, a horse puppet, and, um, Yeah. That's that's kind of the way it looks. <laughs> I hate everybody. In our... I, said, I think we're all right now. Yeah, we're good. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. So Wigger is flying a little too close to the sun today, talking about other people's very, very white teeth. And <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this clip. Which is so is we played that stone? Bradley Cooper thing yesterday, calling him, uh, what was it again? Um, piano teeth. Piano teeth. Piano yeah. teeth. That, that could be another nickname for Howard. Piano teeth from now on in. <laughs> the thumbnail for tonight's episode is going to give me nightmares. <laughs> Thank you. I know that was done by one of our guys on the website, and um, the Photoshop guys on our website are psychotic. So I always go looking into the Photoshop thread to see if there's anything new. They, uh, uh, in the thread, in the, th uh, the comments, uh, John Doe, did he quack? I don't think he quacked today. I he did not he was, quack back. He was quack free. Thank you. Thank God. So let's talk about his teeth. Here we go. Yeah, you some know. of these people now, when they get the fake teeth, they even have a glisten to them. Have you noticed like a pearl? <laughs> and I'm like, that's yeah. not necessary for teeth. I remember when I had my teeth like capped because my teeth are a uh -huh. mess. For, for You know, I had, a, I had to. I didn't even have a choice. And so the dentist said to me, here. Of course you had a choice. You were, you were starting AGT. Yeah. Hold on. Was to look like Mr. Movie Star, you idiot. Hold on, let me show you. They were as white as chiclets. I said, "Give me the color. What is the least white color you have? Almost make them green." Right, right. I said, "Because there's no way a guy my age would have super white hair." This are still too white. So modest. Yeah, he said, "I'm most honest man." Here we go. Yeah, look at those. Yeah, he wanted those almost green. See that? Those almost look green, right? Almost green. It's almost. Look at that. They look almost green, right? Almost green. He, he loves to tell us that he only did like his front teeth or that he just did like a couple of them. Um, but yeah, he's, he's just as bad as everyone else. And so he was bitching and moaning about that today, but he is, he is absolutely, he is absolutely, look at like the penis nose. The penis. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The chiclet. This is, this is peak Howard AGT peak. The tendrils, the glasses, the chiclets, the nose, everything about him. This is when he really wished he could be a superstar. Let's just yeah. take a second. And the Let's earrings. He still had the <laughs> earrings like Sinbad. <sighs> Let's just breathe that in. <sighs> Goodbye, Howard. Loser. All right, so let's move on. Um, so then he's for some bizarre reason, it was very Beth centric today, even though he was building up to her coming downstairs. And he decides he's gonna let us know once again for the 45th time that uh Beth was offered a role on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Now, not your Housewives of New York, 
not even oh. real housewives of uh, Miami, but real housewives of Beverly Hills, even though they don't live there, that's not a place where they are. And you could, you know, you know that if Beth was married to any other substandard cuck husband, cause grammar, you uh-huh. would have absolutely and 1000% have gone on that show. So I feel like this is slightly a dig at Andy Cohn. Um, Cohn. A minute 25 but let's let's listen to a little bit of it and then we'll come back to it and beverly hills housewives you want to hear some crazy shit yes yes we do uh like a couple of weeks ago i've told you before like beverly hills housewives, housewives. has reached out to my wife through she has an agent but my wife doesn't really you know she doesn't really what do, do any of that stuff but you know years ago she used to do stuff but they reach out every once in a while for her to be a Beverly Hills housewife. And I go crazy because I go, we, we don't live in Los Angeles. We live in New Beverly, York. I mean, how is she going to be in Beverly Hills? She's going to I don't know. You. I, it's like, it's so insulting because, <laughs> so this year, they said to my wife, my wife says, hey, guess who I just got the call from? I got a call I'm from, call. oh, somebody's on. Okay. I got, I got anyway, it, Monique. It was a technical glitch. Wake up, babe. All right. Here's my theory. There is some speaking. I mean, she's no worse or better than the people on the show. They agreed. Andy Cohen, Kisten Howard's ass agreed. I won't do it in New York. So your residences don't have to be incorporated onto the show. We'll do, we'll move her to LA in some capacity and make it look in like she has. In what world would no, there's no way. this? There's just no way. So, you know what this sounds like? This is exactly the same thing that he did with, and somebody mentioned it in the, in the, in the chat. Dancing with the Stars, Lisa Stein. This he did the same thing with Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, that yeah. That Beth was, was approached. Sure. You know, they wanted to do it. And to be fair, Dancing with the Stars will pretty much reach out to anybody in the D E F G category of I, celebrity. I, I don't know. Ida's right. She's friends up. with Ida's right. She's Ida. Who's the broad from New York? Uh, Bethany Frankel. Simone. No, she's not, not Bethany. 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 De- De- Simone I thought she was something. friends with Bethany Frankel. No, it's the not other Bethany. one. It's um. Oh well. De- She's a model, and she's oh, um, and all the time. And then the broad who dated Sabian, and she's in the house, uh, the Beverly Hills one. And no, they're not friends. They are not friends. She was, she was friends with Beth. She absolutely no. was. No, so at least acquaintances. The they Howard. at least talked. I mean, they went to London. One, the one who looks like a mannequin at this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, and Carol Radzewell as well. Uh, Radzewell, yeah, one, yes, 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 was yes. also friends with. They're definitely she, friends. She Instagrams about her all the time. Yes, so, and that's and, uh, like, Kelly. Beaverhausen got it. Beaverhausen got it. Kelly B. Den Simone. Ben Simone. Ben Simone. Ben Simone. Ben Simon. And might I add, Beth is, Sarah showed me a clip. Beth is on the runway of the first season of Housewives, sitting in between Kelly Ben Simone and Bethany. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So she tried to get on then, and Howard obviously shot it down. Right. But when you hear her talking, like you listen to the wording of this as we go through this oh. clip, it's very interesting how she says, Ida. So you would basically divorce me if I went on that show, right? Yeah, Kelly is horrible. Kelly is a but horrible. Beth and, according to Ida, Beth and Kelly had a fight. Uh, oh. We don't know about this, Ida. Share, share, where, where did you see this? Oh. Ida? Bill, I bet you shared it from Andy Cohen's show. Sharing is caring. Right. Yeah, I don't follow the wives <laughs> at all. I follow Bethany on TikTok only because she's psychotic. I saw her once coming home from here <laughs> to New York. I told you guys about this. Mm-hmm. And she was with her her um, chauffeur slash bodyguard slash person. Mm-hmm. And she is as thin and as gaunt as a human being can be. She's also slightly jaundiced looking. She's so yellow. Ugh. Like she's very gaunt. Like her whole face. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, if, you're, if you're not from Asia, yellow is not a not a not her a good leg. Thing. Her leg is that's not same. good. That's like not she's good just, she's just that chick. And so says, that, uh, Dancing with the Stars reached out. You know who Yvonne DiCarlo is? Yvonne DiCarlo from uh, Monsters. I think she's Patrice I she's O'Neill's dead. ex. I think that, that, that is that. Yvonne DiCarlo. Yeah, Yvonne DiCarlo. I thought she's dead. <laughs> no, I think I think that's Patrice O'Neill's ex. And she kind of runs <laughs> around and does this and that. And she's kind of a light-skinned black chick from Pittsburgh. That's it. That's well, it. Yeah. You know how many friggin' light-skinned black chicks there are uh, who are married? There's, there's quite a few, like, actually. Who are? Yeah, yes, I'm saying that there's there's a lot of of girls who fit that who fit that brief. Yes. Who are on any given Sunday on a reality show? 
light skinned anyway. bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Howard had a great joke in his his series for the first time, the serious press conference. He said Sirius is coming out with a light skinned black channel. <laughs> <laughs> Truth I gotta give him that. Sorry, I'm late. Did you all mention that Beth never said that she finds or doesn't find Howard attractive? I love, but I love you. I, I love you. Here you are. You're, You're the- my everything. On the call. Thanks, Papa. You are my sexual uh, fulfillment. You are everything to me. You're I have my to everything. I have my- Let's finish with Beth. Randy on- Glanville is the name no. I couldn't think. Randy of. Thank you. Glanville. She's so fake now. She is. Full of Botox, her face doesn't she's move. Faker than she was. Oh, she's such a freak. Worse Jesus. than you can possibly imagine. I'll, I'll look her up right now. He's on. Okay. Anyway, it was a technical glitch. Anyway, so we're sitting there. I don't know when it was. Like two weeks ago, my wife says to me, "I got a call from my agent. I got a call, and he said, um, Beverly Hills Housewives and New York Housewives, Housewives. want to have a, a preliminary, you know, discussion with you. And oh, I, and wow. I'm, I, and I'm sitting there eating my lunch and I'm fucking it's, fuming because really I'm not like, an oh, wow. that is so know. insulting. The people on Beverly Hill, How, Hills Housewives, Housewives are so fucking weird. Housewives. I said, you know, in a way, that's really not a compliment. They think you're a fucking weirdo. Ugh. I feel like who like the whole Marvel franchise. Oh, get- I went on to another clip. Sorry, 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 sorry. Does Lisa Holy Vanderpump Jesus, you have to spoil weird? that? Don't just dump that on the air. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Brandy Glanville denies plastic denies plastic surgery. Oh god. Blames gum infection for new look. <laughs> so the, the, the gum infection these made women. your eyes Asian? I don't these understand. These that. Women, these women, these women. Oh god. Wait, did you what read did Truth you or Spoof? No, no, no! I can't do all of it at the same time. Hold on, let me go back. Oh, that's uh, disturbing. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Let's go back. Hang on. Truth or spoof? Truth or spoof? Truth or spoof? Where are we? Thank I don't. You. Truth or spoof. Ten dollars. Truth or spoof? Truth or spoof? Uh, yeah, I said. Sorry, I'm late. Did y'all mention that Beth never said she finds or doesn't find Howard attractive? Yes, I have that clip. Let's we'll listen get to, to that. it. I didn't hear whether or not she said that or not. Yes, Yvonne DiCarlo is, in fact, in heaven with Fatty Arbuckle. Yes. And our first Fatty Arbuckle mention of the night. Thank Yay, you. Steve. Fatty Arbuckle. Thank you so much. Okay. So, yeah. So, he does the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills mention. Doesn't go back to it, weirdly enough. But he's building towards, like, a best thing. Um pretty much for the whole show. So then the, the guys come in and they start talking about how Marvel sucks right now um, and how <clears throat> nothing that they do is good and we don't know why they still exist in the... No, that's good. Why don't you tell Bradley Cooper that yesterday when he came in? And why don't you tell Danny exactly. that next time so, he comes in? So and the John funny Favreau. thing is... So the funny thing is that Howard goes there and he says, I loved She-Hulk, which was basically the worst she Hulk, show, worst show ever, ever made put on TV <laughs> outside ever, of Loki. Ever. Oh, Loki's horrible. I can't Loki's watch that. Too. But literally sitting there, I'm like, how could you like that show? There was nothing good about it. It was written by morons. I mean, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think Dennis, like who, what his agenda is that it's always a interior motive. So I'd have to oh, go absolutely. through the whole cast and the crew to see who he knows on it. And that's why so I then, plugging it. The geniuses, you know, they're such they're, they're such comic freaks. There, they just know so much about comics that uh, Jason Kaysen's like, uh, yeah, but DC, DC is really gonna come. And I'm like, uh, DC had four bombs this year. I mean, I'm like, horrific bombs. They had Shazam, you know, uh, what is it, Shazam, uh, Thunder of the Gods, or something like that, yeah. that literally lost. Two hundred million dollars by itself. It the comic book fatigue just because movies. they didn't do well money wise doesn't mean they're bad. They're bad they're, movies. No, they're comic bad movies. Fatigue right now. No, they're bad. Doesn't, the Flash doesn't was bad. The Flash was bad. Uh, Shazam was bad. Um, what else? Blue Beetle was horrible. I, I, um, yeah, yeah, I saw Blue Beetle. They're all bad movies. I thought that the Flash was going to be good. Uh, and then Ezra Miller was in it. And Ezra yeah. Miller was supposed to be good in it, but then he 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 really he punched himself in the dick, and he um Hard. ruined any goodwill anybody had towards him. He really did. Yeah. Um, They're always yeah. dealing with some kind of Me Too or cancel culture every time a movie comes, even if it's if it's certainly Amber Heard thing's been lurking for years and oh. years and years with Aquaman two. Aquaman two. Oh, Aquaman two. Came, is first dead. one came out five years ago. The first one came out. 
And that, that shit's that, been lurk. That succubus has been lurking over that. Do you realize that movie's years. coming out soon? And yeah, it's Aquaman coming out too. And I'm like, I, I, I mean, I don't know why they're releasing it. They should just like take the loss. Lily, do the write off. Don't yeah. don't release it. Just take just a let knee, it die. Netflix, and just let just it let die. die. <laughs> Howie has turned down so many movies. It's amazing that Hollywood has survived. Yes, we're going <laughs> to that momentarily. Thank you so much, Sunflower Dragon Puppet Fun Contribution. Thank Thanks for the show, guys. Yes, I'm absolutely buying the puppet. I have I have done some serious research into it. You know. It 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 boils down to so do we like buy him. one that we think somebody is going to be able to make look exactly like him, or do we just buy a stupid puppet, put some glasses on it with a stupid? No, it's got to look. It's got to look kind of like him. It's got to be insultingly looking like him. Well, then it means that it has I to mean, have those. This kind of looks like him, right? Yes. You know, see, you put some glasses on it, and you're good to go. I think. <laughs> so let's let's hear their Marvel tirade and and we'll come back after this clip. I feel like who like the whole Marvel franchise is getting all fucked up. I don't know who's in charge of that, but they're screwing up. Get, you know, that? I've said it for a hundred years. There's so many good comic book storylines that they've already written. All you have to do is do what the comic books did. There's I'm your with story, them here. storyboard. He's right. I know, that, but his, 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 yes, his theory is correct. We all agree that nobody needs to hear origin stories anymore. No. Um, but his theory, every on the movie needs to be two and a half hours. No. So do a half hour, do a 40, do an hour, do a 45 minute movie, but no. just take an episode from Thank a comic book and movie. fucking exactly. shoot it. Ninety-nine percent of comic books aren't origin stories either. You know, you can't just keep right. doing the origin story over and over, oh and, my, over. And, and I'll tell you what. <laughs> They that fucking Loki. I want to throw him through a window. What a fucking <laughs> piece of shit that is! It's amazing that he knows about Loki. It's amazing that he yeah. knows that it's a piece of shit because yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm actually Tom sure. Hiddleston was a regular on Geek Time, Monique, when they used to have it. it was, oh, the, oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. the thing is, Hiddleston was wasted in that. They gave him nothing to work with. He's great. You know? He's a great Loki. I'm, I'm yeah, a, they I gave him nothing. Before, <laughs> literally. And, Nothing. Michelle, I agree with you that there's like this woke agenda, but I think yeah. that there's a backfire to it now. Like I really do. Oh, it's blown up. There's, <clears throat> I think that there, even that stupid, horrific Snow White movie that they oh, tried they coming to, out. I think Disney is like, killing that thing now. As the dwarves and stuff like that, as opposed to real dwarves. You know, nobody, nobody wants that. Nobody's looking yeah. for it. For my nobody's understanding, looking for it. Nobody. He knew Kevin Feige's name when it when it came time to do that stupid Doctor Doom prank, but now he doesn't know his name anymore. Yeah, he forgets his name now. I know oh, he's going to say that to Downey. He definitely knows who James Gunn is. So let's yeah. listen to that. And, and oh yeah. The epic thing about this clip is how everybody agrees with him. It's like shocking. Yes. Here we go. No offense That's to James true. Gunn. I think I ought to fucking take over the DC franchise. They've <laughs> never gotten that. He probably let you. I, <laughs> oh, he led you. Yeah. He I, I should have been a film director. After listening to Bradley Cooper yesterday, I realized I could probably do that shit pretty good. You know, well, I just, if you I didn't... just want to be the executive producer and say, no, that script is shit. Get out of here and write this. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah right, like right. these companies ought to hire me because I know. I mean, Virgin River has gone way downhill. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no. I can't even finish it. It's so bad. I mean, I don't even know what Virgin River is. What is Can a Virgin you... River? I don't know. I don't even really know what this is. I've never know. heard of this before. Let me look. Virgin. It's probably some 16 year old girl show. <laughs> uh, Virgin River. Oh, it's a romance show. Told you. 16 year old uh, girl show. Right, Irene? What a fancy. Virgin River seeking a fresh start. A nurse practitioner moves from Los Angeles to a remote Northern California town and is surprised by what and who she finds. Wow. So he went from talking about Loki and Marvel. Virgin River. Some stupid, incredibly gay romance. Is this, wait, is this the Ashley Jade story? It's the Ashley. <laughs> no, that was Van Wilder, Dennis. Right. Seeking a real life after five colleges. After five colleges. <laughs> she moved to, moved to a small town. to a small town. And she meets her dream, Bo. Right. A, sale, a, car, a used car salesman. <laughs> Call me one. <laughs> um, um, okay, so then, of course, he goes from the Marvel commentary to his favorite Stan Lee story, which is about how Stan Lee wanted him to be a superhero and be a, um, and he was going to create something for him. Mm -hmm. So let's, mm -hmm. let's hear a little bit of that story. <laughs> Listen, I knew Stan Lee. 
<clears throat> Stan Lee and wanted to put me. Sir, you're no Stan Lee. <laughs> Stan Lee wanted. Um, I told you. That, I told you this story that Stan Lee called me up, mm. and he goes, "Howard, I want to make a superhero movie with you." And this is a, he was an old dude. You know what I mean? He wasn't Stan Lee from like Spider Man days. Mm. Wow, this is such an mm -hmm. honor. If anyone would have ever thought in my lifetime, Stan Lee, the creator of Spider-Man, Iron Man, the, you know, the whole Marvel line. Don't ask. And Stan called me up. He goes, here's the thing. You're sitting in a radio studio, like in the middle of nowhere. You're like, oh, you know, you're like one of these guys who works like up in Troy, New York. You know what I mean? Like one of those kind of radio really stations. And inventive. And like, mm -hmm. no, right. Mm -hmm. And I've worked in those radio stations. WR and W was like that. You just sit in a little house by yourself. It's not even. Mm. And then I think the, the then somehow they give me powers. And mm. I, when Stan was describing it to me, it was like really shitty powers. Mm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> now I'm now like halfway through the pitch. I was like, Fake mm. this is my hero, Stan Leah. How am I going to get out of this? And he goes on to say that he talked mm -hmm. to uh, Buckwald about it, and he's like, "You got to get me out of this." You know, Hi, Xavier. Hey, <laughs> how you so, doing? Okay. Not Man, like, a few words today. Indeed. <laughs> I will say so, this: um, he had Stanley on the show, um, which I forgot. I'm gonna get it for tomorrow. He did. It, he called in to do an interview, and all Howard did was money shame him the entire interview for not having more of a stranglehold on his rights, and that his shit's being used all over the place, and he's not making money from the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. So I can't remember what the the insider, if St if Stan admitted Stan Lieber, by the way, to them having any kind of business relationship. I got to listen to it again. You know, once again, Howard tells a story where the other person is deceased. So there is nobody. To yes, 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 yes. That yes. story. Judy Tanoon is a funny thing in there. <laughs> Every week, he's like a fourteen-year-old girl. He's like, I'm. I want to be a rock star. I want to be a director. Exactly. I want to be a painter. Every day, this um, is like a fourteen-year-old. I could have an Oscar. I could have a Grammy. Yes, I could have. Yes. Yes. Yeah. People oh God, the Oscar thing. thing. People are afraid of my um, ability to be to be more than what I am. He actually said that today. He, he did, said, and and let's remember, this really? is a man who couldn't play himself. He couldn't yes. play himself. Exactly. Couldn't do listen, that. Well. Listen, listen. As a comic book nerd, I I worship Stan Lee, but he's basically a, a better John Hine in that he screwed he screwed Jack Kirby out of a yeah. lot of those ideas. Jack Kirby, <clears> you know, genius. like it's always like Stan Lee, Jack Kirby. But when you know when the the paychecks came in, they all went to Stan Lee. I, uh, I think Kirby's family's been broiling like ten different lawsuits right now. With, of course, could they you are. imagine because I mean, he came up with like half of that stuff? I mean, creating listen, these characters and no not making to Stan sense. Lee. Stan Lee's a, no, I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine being he able. John to Hine, Jack Kirby. He John Hine, Jack Kirby. You know, like John Hine's Char roommate. Oh, yeah. all, John Hine's know, roommate is Jack Kirby. Kirby. We John all know that he screwed his roommate out of the jump to chart thing. So it's kind of you know. I know I'm reading the comments. They're all just so silly. Jeremy Har Harrelson, eggplant par parm man, half his strength <laughs> right in <laughs> the garbage. Did you see that? Did you see that parka John Hine was wearing yesterday in that picture? That horrible. Yes. He by the he looked like Dan Schneider on a on a Nickelodeon open casting call. What, he looked, Absolutely. He looked like a pedophile. He looked ridiculous. <laughs> he stole that parka from his roommate. This looking man alive. Yes. He is really creepy that's really what he is he's creepy great he rant like, on how much we yes, hate Mike McMahon. he did steal fast yeah. food show right from, from Jason. Us. yes and that's a lot of nose to steal from a lot of nose to steal <laughs> Jason didn't have uh the buckwald uh machine behind him that's right no like uh like hind did for some <laughs> bizarre reason bizarre reason i will never i don't think we'll ever get to the bottom of that i, I should mean, make never that's just Hine. Do you look at Jan Hine and go, yeah, that's a TV guy. That's the guy. Yeah. That's the guy I want to hear about New York sports from. A guy from Michigan. You know what, you know what John, John <laughs> Hine looks like if you ask AI to draw a composite of all the To Catch a Predator guys into one person? <laughs> <laughs> Including the subway dude. Yeah, Jared, right? I mean, that's the closest thing to him. He looks exactly like Jared. Including Jared. Um, yeah. So here's what he says about Stan Lee after this. And you know you know, he's going to get to the boys by saying this, but he does it just to be a dick. Ooh. And Stan was such a doll, man. He sent me this big, giant poster like of Stan Lee, and he wrote Excelsior. That was his thing, Excelsior. Yeah, that was his catchphrase, yep. And I, yeah, I recently threw it out. I, I felt bad. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> oh, yeah. Me and Wolf, yeah, 
<laughs> it, was like, it was like, hey, Howard, it's Celsius. And I was going to frame it and everything. And I went, eh, you know, what am I going to do with that? He's such a dick. You know, he's wow. such a dick. He's such a dick. Um, wow. Yeah, so those things he throws away. But, but, but yes, let's have a, you know, 5,000 square foot uh, warehouse storage facility. I actually don't think he threw it away. Or that gaudy pic gigantic poster that they have of Beth over the Bianca urn. Over the mantle. Yes. Yeah, yes. it's like, yeah. Like yeah, but let's have that. Excelsior. That's exactly right. It's Excelsior. 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 Yeah. Excelsior. Okay, so then we're going to move on. And again, apparently there was some news about that whole stupid uh, him being in uh, A Star is Born. Let me just <laughs> give that to you. Oh. Mr. Judy Tenuta had just sent me a little screen cap. and oh, I Monique, just did you see this movie? I did. Okay, is it not the most mediocre? Haven't, haven't you seen this story a thousand times before? This the rock star and the downward spiral. Time. There's nothing the unique about this movie at all. It's amazing they fawned over this shit. That's how it, bad it, movies have gotten that this got any traction. It's the like, fourth, I'm telling you, I've seen this movie a thousand times with that story. It's, it's the, the origin story. story. <laughs> yeah, it's an origin it's, story. It's the right? fourth remake of it, isn't it? it, it, it yeah, it's not even yeah, times it's, before. It's, 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 it's just, I think the, the original was, was Fatty Arbuckle and. Uh... <laughs> exactly. And Martha Ray. And Fay Ray. Martha Ray. Fetty Arbuckle. Fay Ray. Thank you. So here's the stories from today. Howard Stern talks major part he almost had. Bradley Cooper the stars. <laughs> Howard Stern reveals he turned down a role, turned down Sam Elliott's role in A Star Is Born. Cooper <laughs> wanted Howard Stern to shave his head for A Star Is Born. Howard Stern almost played pivotal role in A Star Is Born. Howard Stern almost had Sam Elliott's part in A Star Is Born. Now you know you think about something like this, and you know we played the clips yesterday where where you know Bradley had to do some PR backtracking today. Oh, God, you yeah. No, yeah. he made a post personal phone call to Sam saying, yes. "Dude." You know that part was written for you. I was just fucking uh -huh. around. I was just fucking around with him, but not one, not one of, the, one of the best things about the show Entourage, and I know it can be cheat and it can be a bit wiggery and cheesy sometimes, but it can be also good. Is they do a nice job of showing you how the publicists work and that yeah. shit you're describing right now, mm -hmm. and how this stuff gets planted, and how they, you know, that's, I think it's my favorite part about that. Right. This is all bullshit. Like Pete Davidson's relationships are all organic. Lauren yeah. Michaels was the best fucking Pete publicist in, on the planet. That's how Jimmy Fallon got made. So don't think this shit's ever organic. Like, it's crazy. Who it's buys crazy. this? But this guy press released that. hard by Buckwald. Press released hard. They literally, they, they shot it out on a slow news day. Better than that yeah, yeah. day is. Oh, you know what, though? What? Watching that movie now when Sam Elliott says, what is he saying, Robin? Makes sense. <laughs> But wait, the best part about it is now how he doubles down on it. And here oh now, God. he's going to give you the reason, the reason for why he turned down the role. All right, here we go. This, this just, just blows me away. But what, I, I was kind of blown away yesterday when Bradley Cooper let out the secret I've been holding for a long time that I was supposed to be in... Um, in that I was movie, supposed with to be Lady, in it. Now yeah, he's supposed to be in it. Like that's a done deal. Oh man, that would have been oh, badass. Wow. Well, no. I just think I'll tell you the truth. It's like I said Here's to Bradley. Truth. Here's the truth. He was after me for a long time. Long time to play really? his like. I don't know if I was his brother or I was. Oh, I don't know. God. Bradley Cooper for and, uh, this. I was very honored, but he, you know, he had never directed a film before. It was his yeah, first he's film. Brand new, like, brand new film for Bradley Cooper. I love yeah. 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 Chance on a first time director. No, I was like, no, no, no. Yeah. I, my fans are brutal. They, you know, my fans are not nice people. Like, yeah, he couldn't take a chance on Bradley Cooper. He couldn't take a chance on Bradley mm. Cooper being able to be a good director. That's the reason that he turned it down. Not because, you know, it was just a pie in the sky kind of thing. He probably just threw it out at him just one day for shits and giggles. Even though the role was made, it was created for Sam Elliott. It was written yes. for Sam Elliott. And, 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 and Bradley said yesterday, well, to be honest, the role was in fact written for Sam Elliott. Yes. And, you know, this was while we were still kind of early in the process, but Howard truly believes that that was his role to say no to. 
Yeah. And there would have been no screen test because, you know, big stars no. like Howard don't have to screen test. Uh-huh. They just automatically <laughs> gotten the role. That, and that would have been the end of it. He has that so, movie so under his belt. Yes, exactly. That one movie. So that we're one going to take movie. Bradley Cooper's uh, judgment at what? Face file? Isn't he the guy that said, hey, you know what? Let's put a gigantic Hebrew schnoz on my face. That's not going to offend anybody. No, exactly. it'll be fine. We're going to trust it'll that guy's judgment. When his the real guy, face who was did... perfectly fine. For yeah, the role. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, his his real nose. What's that was... one Vegas movie that they did a sequel to that they did exact same movie twice? Uh, Ocean's Eleven, Hangover. Ocean's Twelve, no, Hangover, Hangover, Hangover. Oh, hangover? the Hangover. Everybody saw. If you seen Hangover One, you saw Hangover Two. Yes, you did. Total money grab. Yes. So if, yeah. um, and yes, you... I will agree. Sam Elliott is very typecast. Absolutely. Um. But but he plays Sam Elliott like like Robert De Niro plays yeah. Robert De Niro. There's no stretch. There's no imagination. No, it's, he, he plays you want himself. Hard boiled kind of country guy. That's who you get. He always looks like if a spittoon came to life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Slow death. Slow death says it's probably true, but the studio probably asked if he was fucking high. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yes, um, so, so, so. what did Zuma show, show say that uh, <laughs> that people are talking about here? I'm just trying to look back in the comments here. How do you think the money negotiation? Uh, uh, assuming this is, let's just say this is real. Just let's just there play is no along. money negotiation. This is so preliminary, so ridiculously early in the uh, scheduling of things that nothing that you know, nothing that. Listen, Bradley Cooper is probably the king of picking up chicks in bars and saying, how'd you like to be in my next movie? By the way, they were talking about this in the chat yesterday, Monique. Is he even a good looking guy? I'm trying as a hetero. I'm kind of looking at him going. As a hetero? Were we, were we brainwashed into thinking think he's a good looking guy is, like Jennifer Lawrence after he was famous and now we're supposed to think I think the word is distinguished. Look, he just looks like an average guy. You know, just there's nothing. There how is, is he? I'm asking you. about him that would make you look twice go, walking down the street. But right. Uh, right. Hey, I, I, I know he's... Both guys, the two best looking guys I've ever seen in the street ever, ever, ever is John F. Kennedy Jr., um, who every single woman who was walking down Fifth Avenue that day all oh, yeah. just went like this. Mm-hmm. And Ron Jeremy. No. And the second one is Madonna's uh, Lourdes, Lourdes Chacon's yeah. uh, baby daddy. Yes. Whose name is. Carlos Leon. Carlos, I don't know why I know. Mother effing Leon. <laughs> why would you know that? I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I remember that. Guy walking down well, the street had a swagger. Lenny Kravitz too. Lenny Henry swagger. Henry Kissinger Autobot account when he Henry yeah, Kissinger. Yeah, Henry. yeah, right. With the drool, with the drool coming out of his mouth and his warlock wife. Um, well, thank you, Crazy cool Robin. He's isn't he's it cool a long that the beat. The baby fix. daddy and Madonna's daughter have the same mustache. <laughs> Ah, same eyebrows too. Yes, exactly. exactly. There's a Frida Kahlo that comes right across. Yep. yep I know yep. she didn't. She didn't work out that well. I, you, I thought she would have been better looking, but her father was stunning to look at. Stunning. Personal well, training. Good looking broad. I wouldn't kick her out of bed for using beds there. Did I make a detailed mental picture of JFK Jr. now for night use? But but I can remember. <laughs> like thank you, thank you, Crazy Rob and Kathleen. He's, Bradley Cooper is a is a Long Beach, Philadelphia six. They agree with broad degree with me. So as we move on in our yeah, story sure. of woe that was today's show, uh, yeah. they came then came the Total Wine commercial, which I thought was kind of curious. So. Uh, Gary has been popping in a lot lately. I don't know why. Yeah, just it's annoying. Not. And um, it's just kind of interesting that Gary is part of pretty much every live read commercial currently. So uh-huh. this is a story of Total Wine, and then Howard pulls a um, Mama Mancini's meatballs on Total Wine. Here we go. I, I gotta you tell you, man, I went reference. out to dinner on Saturday night with a friend of mine who has no idea. That Total Wine is a sponsor. That is and we're sitting at the table, and she starts going on about Total Wine. Going for on. Like a good five minutes. She five starts minutes. Telling going me, on and on. I've five recently minutes. become a bourbon drinker. And so I stop by there. They have tastings. They have a guy there that will tell you all, what all the best ones are. She says that now, like, once or twice a week, she stops by Total Wine oh on my her God, way it's like home. like a playland. Because there's so much to do there. 
It's like an all. Oh, alcoholic. it's given me a whole life. Yeah, listen, listen to how it goes. Uh, on our way home listen because there's so much to do there. Oh, it's given me a whole life. Whole life. Uh, I'm there uh, constantly at Total Wine. Uh, a man that doesn't drink. It's an uh, adult the, amusement center. Yes, that, yes, adult amusement center. Yes, that's what Total Wine is. You idiots. So, I have a question. So why was so Gary's having dinner with Melissa, and now she drinks yeah. bourbon? Yeah, I guess you know. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. It's as trendy as they come, so I guess scotch, so. Scotch, scotch. I love scotch. <laughs> <laughs> no boff. Yeah, well, Melissa uh, likes to drink yeah. bourbon now. <laughs> so, um, so as I was reading through the listening thread today, I did not check out Reddit's dude, whom I adore, by the way. I adore the quick uh, read of what's going on in the Stern show. Let me see if I missed anything uh-huh. that we should, we should actually be talking mm. about. Hang on a second. Stern show discussion thread, normal couple. Uh, happy holidays from the Stern. Oh, I should I should whip out my annual uh, Christmas cards from the Sterns that I oh, have. Okay. Should. Where are they? Where are they? Isn't it amazing that a year ago all the DJs that were talking about Peloton, not at that company. I love that you say Peloton. I love that. Peloton. 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 I, I continue to be here, here in the Bradley Cooper stuff yesterday. I continue to be amazed that Howard hangs out with. Everybody in his orbit is at the very least 15 years younger than him and younger. Yes. It's yeah. so – has anyone ever been here in the situation where you've just hung out with someone, uh, a group of people that are 20 years older or younger than you, and that's all that you hang out with? 20 years older or younger is probably not my sweet spot. But just everybody, people. Monique, not just one person. The yeah, whole, no, and you've I mean, now convinced 10, yourself 10 that you are okay. 20 years younger than you are. 10-year ten, ten ten range. Okay. 10, ten years works. Ten ten years works. These people, like, like Bradley Cooper is, I think, 22 years younger than Howard. Oh, I know, I know. It's just, so funny. It's so it's funny how he's Bradley Cooper is, I think, 22 years yeah, younger than now. Yeah, we're, we're discussing people that whose orbit he wants to be in. Because yeah, I know. Exactly. I'm just saying, it's so yeah. funny how he... You know, he's starting to feel his mortality, you guys. You yeah, know, oh yeah, oh yeah. realizing that now Yay. that he's in the 70s. Did you, by the way, I know I came in late. Did you guys talk about the, the Instagram post that I sent you? No. What Instagram no. post? Oh, Beth, you, it's a showstopper. So just keep going. We'll get to it eventually. Can I ask you guys a question just about Beth? Just go to Beth, Beth's Instagram. It's the, the first picture. Okay, sir. When you I dropped see that out yesterday during a moment. Go, John. You, you were talking about candle. Do you think that alcohol bullshit rant how he hates uh, he hates drinkers has to do with the no candle thing with Molly Kimmel and Beth in the house, and that sent them into a? You think? Yeah, but even Beth today even admitted that you know during his stupid fucking puppet show she had to drink. Oh, um, wow. Thank you, Kevin Haas. I wish I could listen to this during the day while I'm at work, but Mo keeps lying about uploading. Oh, Kevin, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. No, no, no. He's right. I should have done it last week. I apologize. I was thinking about that in the middle of the night today. In the middle, the of, middle of the night today? This morning. Um, and that I have not uploaded anything since he went on vacation. And I apologize profusely for that. Um yeah, I, I I know it's on it's on my big list of things to do, and I promise you that I'm. There's a big list. I'm. Wow, she has a notebook full of ideas. You know, well, people are like screen. What, grab, you screen want grab, to know what's full quick, of quick. ideas? Cut up Yoda books. Look <laughs> at restaurant. Uh. We gotta make it. We gotta make a sober <laughs> list, Monique, of all the like Downey and Cooper and Jason Bateman That's and all true. the people in his orbit. We're gonna make like a a teetotaler list. Yes. Oh, that's oh, it. Because that's driving it above all is this, whoever the celebrity is trying to kiss ass. Is this the one you're talking about? They're almost touched. Almost. Xavier. Xavier. Mm, no, Xavier. Okay. Don't know if this they, is. They the almost one. are touching. Almost. Almost touching. Almost Remind touching. To, Remind me to look up her uh, her dress momentarily. All right. Oh, let's move on. Thing? That, no. We'll come back to you. I I don't know. Crazy Robin, you're right. Wine is the fuel, uh, Crazy Robin. You're so right. Beth, her whole life revolves around drink. It's all about the drink. Yes. No, it's that's Beth's circle. Xavier, is that the is that the one you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah. The schnoz. Jesus. Zoom in on the schnoz, bro. Mm, Let me see if I can zoom. That schnoz, bro. I don't. It's phallic. It's very phallic. 
Uh, Did so, he have that thing with Deuce? Did it just grow back? No, What's that's they on? just screwed. They screwed is up and like, they made that. Is he like Wolverine when it comes to noses? Like you cut it off, <laughs> another one just keeps coming back in its place. Okay, I'm gonna see you the nose. And I'm gonna raise you that arm. Oof! Uh, what is going on that. there? So you got a baby arm that raises. Ooh. Oh, I do declare. What's my? Hand you can see the sinew in the top of the arm. You can see sinew. Holy crap! <laughs> Look at that. You're not supposed to see tendons at the top of the arm. <laughs> Spe speaking of Wolverine, I got a question. It's a little aside here. I was thinking yesterday. You can the see creator the of Wolverine system functioning. That's something wrong. Yeah, something wrong there. Yeah, go, Johnny. The creator okay. of Wolverine is a guy named Len Wein. Wolverine's mm -hmm. colors, the superhero, the X-Men, is mm -hmm. exactly what the Michigan Wolverine's colors are. Right. Is it well, possible that Len good. Wein go to Michigan? You know how Jews love, you know, Jews love Michigan in the media. Is it possible Len Wein went to Michigan and that's why Wolverine's colors are the colors they are? Misha cheat? Yeah, I'm just, just yeah. throwing it out there. Just a little mm. aside. Uh, mm. Let's stop it. Let's pause. Love your side. I have no idea. Len <laughs> Wein. That's if any, thought. Now I'm, Melvin, now if you're in the chat or Judy Tanu, I'm focusing Len on that now. Now. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I am just going to slowly move on right now. As just you move thought. on because now I'm focused on that. <laughs> you ponder his thought. Um, so... Then Sal comes in to talk about how Debbie the Cum Lady oh, sent Jesus. him a gift card for three hundred dollars. Uh, that's true, Canadian. And he wasn't going to take it, but she's like, "Please, I insist. You know, do something nice with it. Take your crew out for a meal, or do something with it." So apparently, he took um, a couple of people for lunch. And Howard cannot, for the life of him, understand how six people could have lunch for three hundred dollars. So. Serious? Yeah, so six divided, I don't know, 300 bucks a person. 50 bucks a person. That's easy. Like that. Boom. That's easy. He doesn't That's not hard. He doesn't understand that. Here we go. But send me a gift card. I'll take them to lunch. <laughs> oh, well, so who is at the lunch? Who got to uh, benefit from uh, Will Debbie's Murray, generosity? The great Will Murray, my boy, right. Willie. Uh, well. Richard Christie, of course, my girl, Richard. Um, Samantha, my trainer. Uh, we have someone else, uh, um, wonderful Simone. Shout out to Simone. She's fantastic. This must be, and... where'd you go, McDonald's? I mean, 300 bucks for all these people. <laughs> yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, see, so out of touch. So tone deaf. So has no idea, like, what money is worth. He's the same yeah, guy that said that two people can't live in 8,000 square feet. That's true. Yes, McDonald's is $60 for family. McDonald's and no, and no, no tipping, Bulldog. Hopefully you get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Travolta. no tipping. <laughs> um, so here he goes with his complete and utter setup for Beth to come downstairs. So this is so so uh, as if you missed out on the discussion, we were talking about how uh, Howard is kind of mortality a little bit, and the fact that he's going to be seventy years old in January, yeah. and um, feeling the progression that progression of time. Beth basically me. doesn't love him anymore. Here we go. Beth wants me to celebrate my birthday with a couple of friends and stuff. And I said, I don't. So that was the end of that. Oh, but uh, I think she'll, invite, she'll invite some people over, I guess. But, you know, I don't know. Well, you mean, a regular dinner. Yeah, they you might go. sing to you, but yeah, <laughs> just sing, yeah happy it. birthday. <laughs> like, I'm, pr I'm I've almost convinced myself that Beth can't possibly still be attracted to me at this age because it was efficient for compliments. You know, I'm an old fart. She says I'm still attractive to her, but <laughs> I don't Bank think she so. This is a setup for Beth coming down and fawning on him for the next like 45 minutes because that's pretty much. What happened? And all oh. he had to do was drop a sugar cube on the desk. It was great. All he had to do. Keep had fishing to. for compliments, Easter Alexa. She'll be down. Yes, there. he's just fishing. He's just yep. fishing. Oh. I need you. I, he's I, better bait. He's so needy, and he's so desperate to cling to the woman who's 20 years younger than him. 21. Um, whatever. 22. You know what I mean? He's feeling his... Uh, He's feeling his age for sure. Between no, how so well you this wigabot no, goblin it, for years only, and years and years. Who you're at seventy you're in the radio? Shut the fuck up. You looks mean nothing to no one. No one. No He's one. Only nineteen years younger than him. That's, oh. And honestly, the weird thing about it is that Check nobody out the big brain on care about his wife. Like nobody should care about who his wife is, what she does, what she looks like. Nobody should really know who she is. You know. Most no. people out there that are famous who Most are seven don't 
you don't know their wives. You don't no, care. You don't. No. You don't know what they look like. You know nothing no. about them. Don't, no. you just don't give a shit. You know, but well, his, sometimes he, sometimes you see them with them. That's okay. Oh well. Wow. All right. Well, she's nice. Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Great. Good for him. Couple. But not yeah. this. Not trotting them out and trying to make them famous. No. no. And yes, hey, we touch. She is definitely protecting her investment. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Best oh, yeah, baby. She's her best years with him. So she's going to protect How quick is she going to rewrite that will? Deborah's you kid? Spend, hey, you, you spend that fucking money, Beth. You spend. Hey, F word. F word. F I word. I'm sorry. It just needed to be said. Mo's going to yell at you. You need to, <laughs> you need to spend that money. Spend it well. Spend it often. Spend as much as you can. But as going you can. nowhere. Spend all that money, yeah. but going nowhere. I can no just countries, wear a pretty dress no to my 430 dinner. That's all. That's all I can do. So he goes back into discussion about the puppet show, which I know. Oh. I mean, he has spoken about ad nauseum, but uh, let's let's continue with the puppet show discussion because that's pretty much. And Xavier, you mentioned this yesterday. I don't know if yes. you know, the phone with me or we were just uh, talking yes. about it on air, but you'll hear momentarily. Let me just give you a few. Minutes. Planning these puppet shows was like planning a radio show. I mean, I put everything into it. I don't, you everything. know, I put 100% in. 100%. There was no, uh, did you write scripts? Yeah. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes, I did. Wow. Yes, I did. Scripts. Wow. I was going to. Three-year-old. I, go to bed. I, I can't believe I'm sitting here writing scripts and picking music <laughs> soundtracks. For a three-year-old. For a three-year-old. But I don't, you know, you know me. I'm a nut, so. Uh, no, you don't have step at any, at any time. No, no. Let's put it all in for the puppet show. He started singing some song from Fiddler on the Roof because, of course, that's what he goes to. Y y you're giving a three-year-old a soundtrack from Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> For your puppet. We all we all know how parents fawn over their grandkids. Is it we supposed to wow. be impressed by this? Is this some um, like magnanimous gesture? It's Is this amazing to be radio? <laughs> it's, it's, oh, sorry guys, I was playing with my bond cup while you guys were talking. Robert Smithers, we say this all the time. John says these exact words all the time. What's Imagine that? having all that money and not using it to enjoy an amazing life. No hobbies, no Nada. interest, no passion. no passion. Yeah, yeah. Universe isn't fair. It's true. You know, it's been it's over the way it is. money is wasted on these useless human beings. Everything's wasted yeah. on them. Yeah. Everything's again, wasted on him. So Air. if we had that money, would we be that way? And I don't think so. No, 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 no. no, no. Absolutely no. I have a sense no. of mortality. No. Money. By the way, speaking of mortality, can I ask you guys, I missed the last two shows. Has Howard at all mentioned Dana Carvey's son, Dex? Passed no. Away? Nope. Oh, hell not no. One, not one, that not was the one worst. I, I didn't even know what we were talking about. What? D Dana Carvey's son, Dex, died of a drug overdose. Overdose, yeah. Dex Carvey? Yes. Was even, if it wasn't on our website, I didn't. I, I, I was going to post it, and I was too depressed. No, yeah. of course you didn't. I, I wait, love wait. Dana Carvey, and uh, that kid, he used to talk about him in his stand-up all the time. I remember at the end of Saturday Night Live, he put up a sign that said, I love you, Dex. And oh, well, okay, Even that, more weird. He hasn't even mentioned Rosalind Carter died. Uh, it is last week. Taped. This is all taped like in August. <laughs> That's that was a theory they had in the mockery thread today. Um, it might as well be, bro. I mean, like he never talks about anything that's current anymore. It was just about write him a note, says Retog. <laughs> well, apparently they did a little shout out on Saturday Night Live. He apparently died yes, at, at 32 years old. Jesus. Colin Yost, who's who's married to um that's that's Fentanyl, Jones. bro. Charles Johansson said, "We love you, Dana and Paula." Mm. Oh, so you, he's a comedian. I don't really know anything about him. I got to be honest with you. I don't. Nobody I don't did. Person. Nobody knew anything about him. He's, he was actually like worked those... on Conan's channel on Sirius. He looks slightly really? like. Um, yeah. He looks slightly like what? He face? looks like the church lady. It looks like Hugh Grant and Dana Carvey at a kid and Jonah Hill. <laughs> Hugh Grant, right? Jonah, Dana Hill. Hill. Jonah Hill had like a little trio and Satan. Then... <laughs> Conan uh, Conan gave him a tribute on Instagram. He's, he worked for his channels as like a writer oh, dude. doing like yeah, they were doing like radio plays. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Hobbs. Uh, <laughs> Aaron's granddaughter tweeted that the puppet shows were better when they had Artie and Stuttering. <laughs> 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 very good, very good, Hobbs. Very, very, nice. very good. <laughs> you know I, what? I liked I liked his uh, George Bush. That was pretty funny. Not got da thousand points of light. Who Dana Carvey's George? Yeah, Bush? yeah, he yeah. actually did a very good one. Pretty funny. I wasn't really very good. Everything. 
Dana when back in the day. That I do have a better appreciation lady. for um what's his face who is with um <laughs> who's with Steve Martin in Only Murders in the Building? Oh, Martin Short? Ah, oh, do I have an appreciation for him? You didn't like him in the Three Amigos? I never saw that. It's a great oh my god. That's a you good movie. Caddyshack and you haven't seen the Three Amigos. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, so apropos to that, I want to do a um a watch thread and we're gonna do it on Discord. So nice. we're gonna do a watch thread of Caddyshack on Discord. Yes. Um, I will announce that momentarily, maybe next week, Saturday or Sunday, we'll do it. And we will we will all watch Caddyshack together. Yeah, Shane, it's okay. It's you anytime, can bro. Yeah, it's on RG. It's okay. You know what? That, that that pays the bills in the house. So it's okay. We need to have those ads to pay the bills. Everybody goes and stops over at Daily Mail with this 5,000 friggin' ads and videos playing. And you can't get past like the first page without it. And you know what? So you have a couple. It's 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 not that big of a deal. It's Shane, just... you're the only one that I allow to talk obsess over his college well past its prime. <laughs> yes. I accept yeah. that from. I like LSU. He's not John Heining. He's not John Heining. <laughs> no, it's not John no, Heining. not at all. LSU is way better than Michigan. Let's but... continue with the Puppet Show, shall we? Here we go. But how many shows were there? I did about five. Five, five shows. shows. He did yeah. five puppet it was a lot shows of work. for a three year old. But I'm desperate and for every show was different. Yeah, you know. I just want kids to love me, so I, I did the puppet show. Well, Every you, show was different. You were really nervous. You were like, I have got yeah. to win her over. I Every want show, her to be impressed. Every show started with a, you know, a dummy a ventriloquism act. Can you imagine having to no. use your billionaire father with no. his stupid predilections of needing to whip out i'm i'm shocked that he didn't let her play with the great garlu like i'm i'm shocked that this is the person that this man has become that he set up well, a puppet stage if you, embarrassing if or you really think about it when that kid like 10 years from now when she starts finding out that grandfather was all about the asian black ear yeah. yeah no not, not even not even, not even like, like, like other ethnic the uh, ching chong ching he did, he did oh, the asian people oh, like, oh, Bad. Yeah. It's going to be a little blowback, blowback at that point. It might be. But you know what? If the Kardashians aren't really concerned about their mother blowing Ray J, you know, to become famous. Hey, listen, then, whatever. But I mean, I'm just saying. All right. Let's continue. And she fell in love with that puppet. And then I, and then I would do marionette puppet shows. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they were pretty involved. Yeah, I'm sure they were. I'm sure this is like so, a very, very involved thing. I mean, do. a I mean, three-year-old you, you can entertain with like peekaboo with a blanket. Yeah, like Mara Francois said for half an bubble, hour with bubble wrap and yeah, like I mean, uh, it really uh, doesn't take a lot to entertain a three-year-old, and they're happy. They're just happy you're doing it. They're and excited. Almost the, the, feel like she, the first time he's seen her, other than like at the wedding. Yes. This is the first time that he's seen her in a while. And under a setting that's in his house and in his home, and that he feels the need that he has to entertain this child that he probably doesn't really know that well. Yeah, he got to entertain someone. He hasn't entertained well, you know his audience in fifteen years. This is just <laughs> like this is just like his own children. He doesn't know them yeah. either. He really doesn't. Well, doesn't by virtue them. of not knowing them, he doesn't know the grandchild. He doesn't know the grandchild at all. Do you, do you think the kid wonders why the puppet on grandfather's head doesn't move? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Why are the lifts like why where are the lifts moving, Beth? Beth. Beth. Well, X X you kid, but there's gonna come a time where that kid's aware at a certain point is gonna look around a table and go, What is the deal with this guy's hair? She's gonna 100%. see every adult around Grandpa, her with age appropriate hair. Babe, right? She's gonna be looking at him Grand, at fucking eighty Grandpa, years old. Why is your hair so dark? She's <laughs> gonna it's coming, I'm telling you, it's coming. <laughs> Three-year-olds are smart dogs, not much <laughs> <laughs> Good job, though. That's sweet. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Still you think he's going to sell her on the, you have a great, great grandfather soul? No. <laughs> you know, the only, <laughs> the only thing I she feel needs like he does, know. put it on this crooked. There the only go. thing she needs to know is that he will pay for the entirety of her lifestyle growing up. So, oh, 100%. You know, know oh, where you're from and just, just. Humor the old what man. What do you think one day when that kid is like in his early 20s and comes across the Woogie stuff? <laughs> oh, God. To, to her self esteem as an Asian. It's interesting person. to see if like these kids do a deep dive into their. Uh, you know, at some point, curiosity is going to get the better of them. Let us continue. 
clearly you have to know that because he had puppets, this is what happened. When I was a kid, I was a pretty good puppeteer. There was this professional puppet dude. I, I went to a puppet making class. Of course you did. And oh. the guy recognized that I had some talent. Yes, of course. Then he went into the entire story about how he wanted to take him on the road and, you yeah. know, take him touring. Sure, sure, sure. He was so brilliant at, as, as a puppeteer. Never heard the story before <laughs> He can't even life. take himself on the road now. It's so funny. All Jewish kids of that age who grew up in Long Island either were puppeteers or magicians. And this is what they did. Yes, they all yes. thought yes. they were going like, to be a grossingers and be like comedians, puppeteers. or like be the next Topo Gigio. Yes, of course he is. Of course he is. Senior Josh Rince? Foster. Grandpa, Senior why Rince? do you have right. Stan Albeck right. in a headlock? <laughs> <laughs> Remember Stan Albeck, the old Nets coach? He goes to the oh my God. That's a great I love memory. when Josh Foster comes out with like references that only really obscure. miscreants understand. <laughs> um, so caller called in <laughs> with marriage issues. I was going to play it. Oh Jesus. Uh, the only reason I'm going to play it now is because of the pauses that are in it. But the reality is, is that it absolutely deserves to be part of our Howard versus Allison fight. Um, uh, Xavier, you missed this early on. I have oh, no. that one of the guys sent me where Howard and Allison are literally fighting on air. And she's like, move out, go live in a hotel, do whatever you need to do. Just get out of my bedroom. And it was delicious. Um, but this is a guy. Who calls in basically has marriage issues, but the pauses in this are kind of ridiculous. Here we go. What happened was my wife and I got in a major argument and she stopped sleeping with me. P.S. He gets cut off or he drops his call, but it winds up that he was like cheating on her. She was cheating on him. He fucked some girl who was naked on a couch. My room, in my bed. Hmm. What could the argument be? I Maybe think we lost, lost this guy. Too bad. I was interested. He says, yeah, they got into an argument and they wouldn't even sleep together. I wonder how long that's been going on. Yeah, Robin, you know. I don't know. Do you he, hear these pauses? Yeah, pauses crazy. Jesus Christ. You know, and you know that this was a setup call. You know that this is then, something you wanted to talk about. You know, he wanted to talk know, about the funny thing. <laughs> I got I to gotta go get the papers. I got to get the papers. Get the papers. <laughs> get the papers. I got to get the papers. Um, the, you know, the thing is that, you know, when you have a setup call and, and it doesn't work, he has no way to improv anything. So that's why he sits there and just he's dumbfounded, just utterly dumbfounded. Especially with 90 second drops. What do you think they dropped out of that? What do you think they cut out of that? There was nothing. It's just um, it lost the call, and then he the lost he was trying to get it back. To talk about. And he was waiting for somebody to tell him that they couldn't get the call back. The guy actually wound up calling back and telling him about how he cheated on his wife, and that's why she basically like dropped him and blah 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 blah. But the whole Howard versus Allison thing is is pretty much the exact same thing. Same thing, except mm. he kicked her out of the bedroom. And she just freaked the hell out. Like she just, she was just like, no, this is not, this is absolutely not happening. Um, okay. So let's move on. So Beth comes downstairs because that's what she's supposed to do. And lo and behold, everybody came over for Thanksgiving. And what do you think happened? The three-year-old was kind of sick. So uh -oh. Beth feels the need to let us know like, oh my God, I might be getting sick. I can't oh. stop sneezing. I haven't stopped sneezing all I haven't stopped sneezing. Yes, she's on air with Howard for 40 minutes. Doesn't sneeze once. Um, but yeah, she, she starts off sounding kind of sick because she needs to feel like she's sick because this poor adult has never had to call in sick to a job in her entire life. Yes. So, she doesn't know what sick actually is supposed to sound like, but by all means, let's uh, let's get up the orchestra to make sure that we know. That's Brianna. Um, by the way, I won't, I have not stopped sneezing all morning. <laughs> oh, you think you have a cold? Yeah, I'm a watery and I'm sneezing. Yeah, a lot. my granddaughter was, um, she had a cold, uh, and my daughter had a cold, and my son in law had a cold, so. Um, mm -hmm. wow. I was gonna get my shingle shot today. Yeah, Dr. Greg has said I should get a shingle shot. Why? And um, I don't know if I should since I'm I'm feeling a little bit sick. Yeah, first of all, you have to check with Dr. We check with Dr. Agus on everything. He's our oh, he's our man. He's, he's gonna got, block us at some point. I know, yeah. He's <laughs> he's probably fed up with us, but uh he's got his book is coming out next Oh, he, another plagiarized book? Exactly. Another another set of plagiarism there from the friggin' oh my god, Fred Durst. 
I'm fine. Holy mackerel. I usually am working and can't listen live. Dennis looks like Howard. <laughs> when he's really yeah, I'm that like, initial or, zoom one. Open zoom show. It kind of does. <laughs> With the party city hairline. You need like a weird part though. You need some sort yeah. of bizarre non split in the middle. No, non split in the middle. It's got to oh, be. None? Like, okay. That's got to be like a little askew. Every well, the thing is, you keep pulling it back like this. <laughs> can, I on, can I put on my blonde wig and you can be Howard and I can be a bath boy? Hold on. I have it right oh, I here we really go. Stupid. Now we got production value. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's do this. It's from Halloween. Hold on. I don't know how it goes. All right, here we go. Next thing next you know, we're going to hold for room tone. <laughs> Zuma show is so right. That voice is so stunningly annoying. He's got that that tremble. He's Beth Strionic thing. Oh my god, is that Beth Ostrowski? <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> Beth, you shouldn't you should ask Dr. Regis before you go get your shot. <laughs> so the shingle shot is two part shot, which I had because my doctor said that I should have the shot but are you, like two years but ago. Are you, are you susceptible to it? If you're not susceptible, no. don't don't do it. I figured, fuck it, I was there. I might as well. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm so confused. (laughs) We're such a. Literally, this is what he was doing. Like, literally, he's like looking into this thing. Like, (laughs) when he first came back, it was like this. (laughs) (laughs) That picture. Somebody actually took the picture. I I (laughs) killed it. Mo Strosky's a great (laughs) name. That's Mo Strosky. Okay, wait, hold on. It's really getting into my uh, my fake eyelashes. <laughs> hey, hey, special now, needs. Just pretend That's you had a stroke long. last night and you're there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put my glasses on. My smart girl glasses. All right, now yeah, we're. Yeah, you your smart girl glasses on. Oh. Okay, I can't go to the funeral. So Ouch. there was a whole discussion uh, uh, earlier in the show. It, it lasted for probably a good. 30 minutes about how when he had his little prostate stones oh, thing great. that even though they told him not to do anything for like 24 hours, he stretched it out to like 10 days. And then he started to kind of try and jerk off and figure out what was going on with him. And he couldn't really jerk off, even though he was watching his favorite lesbian porn, blah, 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 blah. blah. Honestly, blah, 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 blah. Like nothing you need to know about it was interesting listening to their weird little sex ritual because as yeah. we all, he, um, she doesn't, he doesn't let her see him naked. Um, let me just fix my part. Sorry. He doesn't let her see him naked. So here, let's listen to this a little bit. Easing at you and your question. How but is it gross? Like I look at me as gross in the mirror. Like, is it gross if I'm going to like come on to you and climb on top of you at this no, point? No, because- the lights off every time. Right. You don't. In other lights words, off. Uh, even know who you I don't know what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you haven't seen me naked Never. in years. She really hasn't. I have a I have a thing where thanks that comes into the bedroom once I'm under the covers. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm already nude under the covers. <laughs> Beth walks in and undresses in front in of me. In front of him. Yeah. And he it's great. That. Yeah. I'm that. very visual and that gets my bone going. Oh, because that's what strippers do. You little moron this, i'm sorry this this sounds incredibly fake i mean this, it, it is sounds this before so incredibly or after he sends a venmo to her <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh well she admit she said that when they're having sex she will ask him questions about things that she can buy and he will always say yes while they're having sex and she does it as a little joke because that's what i like to do yeah 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 Sin Lu who says Xavier can can be your foster cat. Xavier, <laughs> quick cat your eyes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then he talks about pulling his pud. Now, I know we've all heard that saying. It's kind of disgusting, and we're all in. But here's here is the 29 IQ asking him about it. I was practicing by pulling my pud and to see if I, you know, come. What is it? Pulling, but and jerking off, oh. you know. Are you serious? I'm to be a yeah, wow, you've got some great um yeah, well, sayings lately. Well, I wanted to see <laughs> if I could uh you know pulling I wanted the to pud? Yeah, pull my pud. I never heard that. Yeah, my my my, my taffy. <sighs> Everything about I, him. I, 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 seriously, wait, it had two brothers and it never heard that term before. Who listened to the show? Who listened to the show? Never heard that term before. No, well, to be 50, fair. It's to be 51 fair, they, they years old had, and uh, never heard that their, term their before. Their cocks in her ears. That's finishing school, Dennis. You got to act like you never heard this stuff before. 
Holy finishing dear. on her face, school. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> for, for that was an extra five dinar. Pulling your pot. Oh, this, Honey. this wig is. I'm telling you, these nylon hair fly this away. This is hair. bad. This is so oh, really this wig. It's, it's so, so awful. hot. Wait, wait, girl, no. is that is that Ecuadorian hair? You got the good hair. <laughs> Peruvian hair. It's Peruvian. Okay. So that, I got the good Nicaraguan hair, honey. So the reason, of course, they haven't had sex lately is because she is on, I don't know, what, day seven, eight of her period. She seems to always be on her period when Howard wants to have sex. No, uh, you know what? Let's no. be honest. 51 years old. She's no. got to be paramenopausal, if not totally menopausal. Um, no, 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 no. It is absolutely. You guys know I'm She's in my Absolutely. No. All right. At a I... full period at 50, 51, 52. Absolutely. But it's it's but Mo, maternal. I interject. My mother also um yeah. had her period till she was like 57. But let me let me interject something that I know had, of. And and she never had kids, so it's different. It's different. So if it. you're but if you are anorexic like that, yeah, I've known women that go. were skinny, skinny like that. The period actually... goes away very early. Because oh, well, like gymnasts don't even get okay. their periods. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah, so I think that it stopped a long time ago. And flow no longer comes to. So she's lying about periods. Now. Was, Absolutely. Flow from, from Red Bank doesn't come to visit anymore. No, and flow from Red Bank does no, not well, come he, anymore. He's, Dennis is right. There's literally one ethnic group that can actually menstruate below a certain body uh, weight percentage, whatever. Who's that? You know, it's like Ethiopian pe people are the only people. That can actually do like that. The, like, the, the, like the distance runners. That makes me chuckle more than three boys talking about. I'm just, I'm just telling you. Look it up. Mike, Mike look I, it I just up. trust me. About Prove me wrong. I have no idea what you're talking about. And it's true. Prove me wrong. Go ahead. Many women can have periods. Yes, but when you are thin like that, when you are anorexic yeah, like that, it a, makes it stop. It's it a does. physiological it event that occurs once Now, you know why I hate men, Monique? Dips yeah, you, I, 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 Go ahead. Look it up, bro. <laughs> Look it up. I, look I'm, it up. And I, mean, I have, you know I'm that I know. Look up Ethiopians. Not to look, look up Ethiopians. Menstruation and body weight. Like, there is a correlation. There is a correlation. Yeah. 100%. I mean, <laughs> right, shake this chick is more periods than Uncle Vanya's cliff snow. I mean, but eight days a period. <laughs> Literally. But, but let's be honest. On eight it, days a period. Beth is faking it. She probably just put like a little ketchup packet up there and just squeezes her thighs. <laughs> I would really, hey, listen, she can tell him she has her period. Uh, every single day, he yes. wouldn't be any different. It's on another Monique, side. I of believe you, but isn't it possible? She she lies about everything else. Why he's not going down there. Her? He's not. He's, no, not he's not looking. He doesn't care. Um, let's hear about her period, shall we? Can we go into that conversation? Was, you have to come on to me a little bit. Well, now I can. I'm having my period. All right. Well, I how thought much... this period thing was going to be over by now at 51. Uh -huh, uh -huh. How long? Is, how long is this period going to let your periods go forever? That's another reason I think oh, you're not attracted to me because uh, your periods last you, for like you 10 think days. So her period them. lasts for days. Yeah, day. her period goes on for like I think months. I'm making that up. And by the way, <laughs> yes, I would. I do oh think you're God. making it up. Oh my God. Sometimes I think. Yes, you might be making that up. Yeah, yeah. even he, even even sixty nine IQ could figure that one out. That's the classic sixteen year olds excuse for not having serial lying mm -hmm. skeleton twins is lying to each other all day. And, oh my and god, and hiding from each other and not seeing each other naked. I mean, it's just so stupid. It's, what is that? It's, okay, it's literally well, like two fifteen year olds talking. It really about is. It. Okay, well, what, well, you want to know what science has to say about it? Uh, I, thank I, you. I, I can skip what? it. I don't have to. What? Okay. Fat what? Age, the production of estrogen. A female has to have at least 17% of her body weight as fat to generate 17%. periods. All right. She definitely has 17%. No, no, it doesn't. I don't know. It's not that oh, thin. What? The thunder I, thigh? I honestly don't it's know. It's not Eugenia Cooney. Dude, okay. You, you wait. Really see... Where? In the thighs? Because there's no there's no fat on top with all that sinew. I mean, there's sinew from waist up. It's all sinew. I know, there's, right, Richie? There's no fat anywhere. From Dude, when you take 50... pictures, you can see her endocrine system functioning. How much fat could she possibly have? You can see it's you can see it's tenderly. Literally, like no joke. <laughs> okay. This is Eugenia Cooney. This is zero, this is minus zero percent body fat. This is what true, true. Okay, okay, we okay. 
We don't need to see corpses, it's, okay? It, it's like a tenorexia. Uh, this is what true oh. anorexia looks like. This is okay. what it looks like. Okay, no, that's not, what beef frightening. We're not saying she's like. anorexic. Mm -hmm. You're saying we're just saying she, she's like her body is all whacked. It's whack, man. I do whack. But this, this is true anorexia. Uh, okay. guys. Who, who here said that she was anorexic? I didn't say I everybody, because it is. I didn't. I, I did. Say, like her body is wet, and not only that, she like supposedly exists on pixie sticks. <laughs> pixie you know? sticks. I mean, come on. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I mean, I high pitch know. Eric thinks she has issues. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, Richie, I think Richie nails it up here. He said, "By the way, Richie, welcome to the Radio Gunk family. We're hearing about yes. we're hearing about a fifty-one-year old period banging a seven-year-old. Is there anything worse than that? Yeah. Like no, no, there is not. There is nothing. And you notice know, Beth had, um, Robin had nothing to add to this conversation. No, I know, yeah, yeah. at all. Um, okay, so then she she is completely blowing smoke up Howard's ass because he's just so. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Wait, that is not strangely hot shampoo. That is not you think you're going to I mean, I like them thin, dude. but that's a little that's a that's, little um a little anyway. that is a little Dennis a, a little, little a little Dennis a little. Um, <laughs> here's Beth blowing smoke up Howard's ass like completely up his ass and through his nasal passage. I, like that. And, I love you. You're my man. But are you attracted to me? I am attracted to you. Really? Because I look in the mirror. I don't see how it's possible. Honey, I, oh. you are my everything. I don't even look at other guys. You're yeah. my man. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. My life is you. Bullshit. Sexual is you. My hormones are you. Is you. Do you love me? Yes, they start oh. singing this <laughs> stupid the way, song that, about uh, um... I guess it's from Fiddler on the Roof, but of yes. course that's where he went with the puppet show. So she starts talking about the puppet show. Here we go. Oh. How good was <laughs> By the way, that yeah. last all of your puppet shows were so good, except for that last one was heartbreaking. <laughs> what? Do you love me? No, is that the one that you were that was uh, the puppet show one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the puppet show one. So he said he did the five puppet shows, one. but the puppet show one, he did one puppet show. Everything else was like some other bullshit yeah. with his marionettes. I, I don't even know what the hell he did for the rest. I, of I don't know what's going on with this. But he did one puppet thing. show, according to uh, yeah, Beef. That Fish. one, oh, that one puppet, puppet show. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the witch, the old lady's head <laughs> fell <laughs> off <laughs> in the mid puppet show. Uh, I have video of all of those, by the way. <laughs> I know. I'm thinking maybe. We should put some. Maybe up. I'll put something on online. But I don't know. I don't want to be ridiculed for my puppet shows because they're kind of. No, oh, we won't do you know, it. It's for no, not at all. What did Bradley I'll send Rob uh, I, can, I can send Robin. Oh, no, no radio Robin's a big yenta and she laughs at everything. Oh, you're oh, she'll terrible. love it. She'll Had it with Robin. It. So, of course, naturally, they need to send Robin some of the puppet show because, of course, you know, somebody has to see this work of art because it was so beautiful. So, Beth apparently was working the sound for said puppet shows. And. Oh. He says about that. Sound. You can see oh, the your baby biggest too fan in, in the video. Right. Yeah. Her reaction. She loved it. Yeah, you would. Yeah. yeah if you promise yeah. not to bust my balls, yeah, I'll. Uh, really I'll I, it I will. Could you see everybody sitting upstairs and then him deciding now it's time? Come on, everybody. Yeah. Puppy show. And everybody's like, oh, for fuck's sake. I can't believe we got to go downstairs and watch another <sighs> puppy show. Like, I we see. Go bowling it. instead. Yeah, exactly. Whatever you want to do. Love whatever you've done. I can't believe you put so much into it. It's amazing. Oh, it was so I put a lot of I was really amazing. stressed out about these puppet shows. I was sure, the sound sure. person. Yeah, Beth had to work the sound. Oh. And I was sure she was gonna mess it up, but she didn't. She oh, did a good job. I was paying attention. Yeah, you so really did. You had, yeah. you had rehearsals, right? Yeah, we had a rehearsal. <laughs> and I go, honey, don't <laughs> fuck this up. Yeah, but we were we were kind of um but it's not when we work together like that. Sad. It's not great. Listen, like we bicker yeah. back and forth. Yeah, oh. I, yeah I'm it's not tense. I wasn't thrilled about having you work this out. Yeah, and uh, then I started drinking wine too. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> it, it's just ridiculous. This is like a sadder version of the Ropers. Yeah, <laughs> no, the Ropers were cooler. Um, Mike, Mike White goes, it's like my uncle used to force us to watch vacation slides of themselves. Or remember in uh, Austin Powers when Dr. Evil played piano and just forced everyone to watch him play piano? Uh, one of my so, girlfriends, I remember when I was like 20 or 21, she had a baby kind of young. And I went to visit her for the first time. I hadn't seen her. see the baby. 
the, no, it's so much worse than that. So the baby's like three, four years old. She's like, oh my God, you want to watch the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your entire life? I'm like, yeah, sure, Greg, get whatever you got. She puts in the videotape. It's literally her with her legs spread like this. Oh, geez. Her, her no. fucking roast beef factory. <laughs> no. Paper. I'm like, oh, for God's sake. I was like, I don't want to see this. This is not so Oh, my God. But it's beautiful. I was like, to you. Only you. (laughs) Benjamin goes, Monique needs some good muumuu dresses like Mrs. Roper. (laughs) Oh, that's so good. I'll meet you at the Regal Beagle, Monique. I think the closest thing I have is my Egyptian thing. (laughs) So, you know, the thing is, why didn't Howard uh, ridicule Beefus about drinking? Because he gets angry when he's around people that drink. I fucking hate people who drink. I he hates people that drink. Right, Brad. Except John Hamm, Ross Apen, Beth. Yeah, I have pretty much Jimmy everybody Kimmel. in his life. Well, pretty Kimmel. much every yep. single human being in his life. Every single George one. Clooney, Jeff um, Hamm. I do want to do some. Clean <laughs> the the placenta too. Really <laughs> okay um so the last clip of the day is the end of the show and they're just so stupid i, I hate them together I, I hate everything about howard and beth together I, yeah the worst couple ever right uh, <laughs> anyway my love are you coming up or my you know i'm coming up? up i gotta eat some lunch i'm exhausted doing commercials Ten no, no, no. Up. no we're done we we'll have a together little. What? We hold hands when we walk upstairs together. Oh my God, I would love that. That would be a good song. And so I'm going to bang the cold out of you if you allow me. <laughs> uh, Robin, with that, I'll say goodbye, I guess, right? right. Unless you got something you want to say. Nope. And uh, we got a full show for you tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. You're so right, Mike. This is the worst couple in the world. They make Johnny what? Depp and Amber Heard look like Jerry Siller and Ann Mira. Oh my God. Uh, like the Beavers. You know, it's the worst like, couple uh, ever. Let me hold your hand upstairs. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that this is what this is like the discussion that they have? The worst. Oh, he's getting thirty in the morning, wanting lunch. He needs your help. Anybody remember that that show, The Tortellis? Yes. (laughs) They're kind of like that. We have a a younger blonde bimbo and the older, you know, like just out of touch dude. Yes. Is that Dan Hedaya from Cheers? Yeah, it was a it was a cheer spinoff. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's right. I, I just want you all to know that in my in my uh, picking up the cleaning out the computer that Arm has set up for me. So based on the fact that I guess everybody loves karaoke from yesterday, Damn. I now have six more. No, I just sent it to you in case well, I forget. Look at the screen. Uh, we can buy a really screen. nice puppy. You only now. have to play one at a time. I'm not. Oh my to be like, god. Thank you. That is this phenomenal. Thank you very much. MTS is the MTS is the best. MTS. You are amazing. We are 1000% doing this. And we need a good pelican. I'm just going to tell you in advance, though, that it's a little difficult to buy the puppet and be able to get it before Christmas because this apparently must be. Well, it may be. We'll have to do it when the new year comes. So for the new year, the um, puppet will be live and ready to go. And it makes me so excited to do this for you. Honestly, I think it's going to be the most fun thing. Because, yeah, you know, first we got to buy all that Yale and then uh, <laughs> left over for the puppet. That is the spinoff, Frank the Tank, with Rhea Perlman. That was Dan Hedaya was her husband. I think that's yeah, it, right? Yeah, that's it was, Twitch had like a couple of spinoffs. Frasier. Okay, I'm putting together all of... Uh, John music because oh. I'm not even sure what I'm doing. I can't even I can't you know when you when you put them up you have to <laughs> I would just play one at a time I didn't want I'm not trying to be an air oh. at all I just wanted to send you them all at the same time while I had them and you they, can play them they're so it. delicious I'm not even sure where to start with you however mm-hmm. let us go to a little bit of cleaning out the computer let me play your intro music please hold please hold let me get there oh. too much cleaning out the computer. By the way, I think we made enough money between today and yesterday to indeed afford the make oh, your own one. puppet puppet. After buying some yeah. rico. After buying and, what? And it's cra- some rico. <laughs> so we are going to crazy this. as crazy Robin says that nose must be hooked. <laughs> well, we need to get it perfect. I need to. I'll work back and forth. Look at I'll send pictures, you know, side and front and the whole thing. And we, uh, have, to, we have to hire an art director. 
We'll let them Thank work you, magic. Tamara. I did TLC's red light special in homage to you. <laughs> I did. I really did. <laughs> so the clips that Johnny sent me today, a lot of them have to do with Beth's brother, Doug, and dad. Listening yeah, because to in the thread today, they were talking about the, the, the chatter is Beth's family listening to them talk sex has got to be the worst experience. Absolutely. Yeah. So this Absolutely. is that. This is that on the show. She goes in. This is the very beginning. He. I'm trying to think of how this sets up. So he brings Beth in, and now they do this lie about them having – now, it's the apartment thing. So I wanted to show you how fake that sounds. There's shit with the, the roof caving. It sounds so much faker than I even remember. How All right, we're going to play out of that. So let's do it. Okay, so Beth's brother Doug and dad listen to Skeleton Sex number one. Here we go. All right, go ahead. Uh, has Beth moved in with you? Well, here's what happened. You know, oh, right, the, the flood in her apartment. apartment blew up. Right, blew oh, up, well, there. Blew up. Uh, literally, and I said to her, "So cute. Like a crap. I, think was, I think there was like some water damage from like a tub above her." Don't rush out and start looking for apartments. She was going crazy, literally. You know, I think she's crazy for this reason. Where she was living, the whole floor above her collapsed blew up. several times. Blew up. And blew up. Paying a lot of rent, like several blew times. Up. Blew up, but several times. Not living in a tenement, but this is Manhattan. And the floor, like, literally, like, crashed down on all her stuff, ruined all her stuff. And don't even ask what, what was going on. No don't heat, ask. No heat, nothing. Jesus. And she wasn't spending much time there anyway. But so. Uh, well, she was already moved. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. So she has a key to your apartment. Though. She always did since I got Bianca. All right. Yeah. You're, you're... So Beth so doesn't have her apartment work. anymore. And we sort of, like. It's just a question now. So technically, she's not moved in. If she lives there now for five years, doesn't she now suddenly well, I've got, I've got, I've got five years to figure that out. <laughs> Thank you, David. This should buy a puppet-sized black painted canvas jacket that Howard pretends is real leather. I actually have a scarf. I, I can actually get one. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have this in my brain already. I, I've got this. I've got this together. Um, there's no way I'm, I'm working the puppet, but Dennis is the only other person that will actually give us a visual of himself here. Oh, I, I'll trust me. I'll have fun with. It'll be amazing. It'll be amazing. Oh my God. I'm so looking forward to figure out how to set up puppet cam because I actually have a second cam. I got to figure out how there to set go. up a second puppet cam. Puppet cam so we can see him. Puppet puppet cam. <laughs> Thanks, G. Cannon and Frank. Tank. Like, it's, it's like Beth plugged the toilet just to, to have this happen and sabotage room. It's a lie. Oh it's utter you, bullshit. She probably threw what do you mean? cherry bomb down the toilet. You're right. So, wait, wait. So, Be Beefus went to like uh, Peter Luger's and ate a giant porta house and then clugged the toilet up. I mean, no, 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 AJ, not South Bronx or Crown Heights. This is mid yeah, this is three blocks west now. side. Yeah, yeah three blocks away. In nice brown stone, in all of beautiful the, apartment. Yep. I don't even know that she was living by herself, to be honest with you. He never mentioned oh, it. Oh, she wasn't. Dates or anything like that. Yeah, it, it made um, plenty of mo it's money. It's a high rent area. So I imagine no, totally. that's where she was. One day at a time. You know what I mean? She was probably getting money from her, her parents as One well. One day at a you know, time. Every time the landlord came to collect the check, you know what went down. All right, come on. We got to wrap up. Here we go. Part two. Yes. What's up? Uh, Beth just called. Oh, good. She just want to know you to know that although her brother can't hear the show in Pittsburgh, her father is driving through Cleveland right now and he can hear everything. Uh, oh, <laughs> see? Uh, see what happens? Yes. Okay, pause. Do I have in parenthesis Bob Ostrowski? Yes. And that, okay. Right. So this is a very rare mention of Beth's dad. And again, holding to our, if you don't, we've, we had the documentation, the house arrest. He goes, you know, I haven't seen her dad for three years at the end. Yeah. And at the end, it's yeah. crazy. Oh my goodness, there's always an Ostrowski somewhere. I know, those Ostrowskis are all <laughs> over the planet. We give a shout out to Bob and Jill. Ostrowski, yeah. who is monitoring my every word. <laughs> now that Doug can't. Ostrowski loses you, another picks you up. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, you're willing to buy every Ostrowski a big house in Rochester. <laughs> poor dad. His daughter goes out with Alex Stern. Yeah, how do you do that? How do you tell people? Took him a long time to really even get comfortable with that. Yeah, but I mean, does you because <laughs> hung up and I think her dad would even meet me for like three years. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got him. Bob, 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 before, Bob actually is a fan of the show. Always listened to it. Of course, Bob. And yeah. I always thought it was funny when we talked about anal and stuff. But yeah. then you know, yeah. the guy's not, you, his not his daughter. Not his daughter. different. I don't blame him. Their daughters are funny. It is different. Who was in here the other day? And they just said, 
oh, Howard could never date my daughter. <laughs> I think it was Donald Trump. I said, I thought no. you liked it. I thought I'm your friend. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. All right, moving on. Um, part three, I guess. Who is doesn't what? meet <laughs> someone for three years of dating? It's ridiculous. It's, there's, there's your problem. Mm. We know. House it's arrest? Felon? <laughs> House arrest. A felon who, can't who leave ripped off Medicare? But it's weird. You would think that he would have flown out to meet his her parents. Right. You know? Him go to Pittsburgh? Anything. anything. You know, a holiday, <laughs> Thanksgiving, Christmas, Pittsburgh. something. Whatever. Like him in Pittsburgh. Whatever. This is your girlfriend. How do you not meet uh, your new shiksa? Very easily. Your life's, uh, Easy. You just don't go to Pittsburgh. The next one is the oh, script they're reading about sex and one then one the best the brother's listening. Okay. The horse. <laughs> You were very aggressive last night. Are they going to have feel you through the air? Come <laughs> your nickname for me. Which one? Mr. Ed. That one. Oh, stop it. You never <laughs> said that. Right. <laughs> oh. Oh, <yeah>. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's <laughs> great as far as. Oh, of course oh, I'm going to say the Yeah, it is. What? She tells the truth. Is he the best you've ever had? He is definitely the best I've I ever definitely. had as well. Best lover I ever had. What? That's the best lover I ever had. Not wow. Uh, he doesn't gross. say that with any convention. <laughs> so Tell my mom. No. I should be the airport now. Tell her we're married. See, that's what's good about not being married. Sex feels dirty and wrong. That's good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so. into this? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and brother. Can, can, and brother. Hey, Mo, I've always wanted to read this. Can I read this something real quick? Two seconds. Robert F. Ostrowski, license number DS016242-L of Pittsburgh, Allegheny County, agreed to voluntarily surrender his license to practice dentistry in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania based on being found guilty of felony in violation of the laws of the Commonwealth or any other state ter territory of the county. Yeah. Exactly in these years that we're talking about. Right so here. basically, he can't reference. practice anymore yeah. because he fucked with insurance. That's, that's an actual state... Uh, document. No, it wasn't insurance. It was Medicare. He triple billed. He triple billed Medicare. <laughs> he faffoed. He definitely faffoed. All right, here we go. Part four. But then, <laughs> and she said, "Hey, I'm alone." You then you have to go up, get up, and get a condom. We we keep them right by the bed. Oh, they're, they're outfitted for this, right, honey? Yeah, I could say that. So you're still using that? Oh, yeah. absolutely. I don't want to get pregnant, John. Hey, how would you like to have my child? <laughs> <laughs> you know, dating you is one thing. <laughs> How's that sound, Uncle Doug? John, you'll know what unmarried sex is like soon, don't worry. <laughs> uh, Doug's cell phone is calling me nonstop. Really? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Listen. Oh, my. Ask him what he wants. Pick up, pick up. Hello? <laughs> you get to hear the best brother. Stop listening. Ah, no problem. I'm hanging up on you. What? Oh my! Is he an older brother? No, he's my younger brother. Oh. Tell me, shut up! Uh, what? Busted! Busted! Uh, my Jew is uh, best brother. Oh, oh right. he's calling us. Yeah, good, the whole family's on. <laughs> hey, dog. I don't know whether to throw up or drive to New York City and beat the hell out of you. Oh. I love your sister. He's talking to Tom. I'm making her happy. Any guys who could cripple her like me. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, Doug. So really, you you it, Doug. So really, you you it. Be so when you're together, by the way. They are. Hey, but excuse me. <laughs> it's it's really important everything I do to your, to, to your sister. Well, you're lucky I'm coming back from. I'm lucky you're, I'm coming back from Cleveland now because normally now I wouldn't hear it because you're off the air and that sucks. Yeah, we're not on. Is there anybody anything I can do? Any cage I need to rattle on the bird to get you back on? Hey. Oh, so cute, so cute. You you fly by night. Pittsburgh salespeople oh, who have to so drive. What year was this? In middle America to your next dairy farm to, you know, have make barbecues. You know. I just because, like hey, John, I That's the Pittsburgh this, Kennedys. You know? It's 04. Pittsburgh. Well, what what January of 04. I want to feel sun, have barbecues. I want to see my friends, the old and new. We'll turn on the game and share some laughs. And we'll play this and that And I'll say goodbye to rainy days To the colder nights and the empty trees And I fall alive in colors new And it's all here for you To see cloudless sky, summer days Feels just like it's somewhere Kids are out, safe to play And it feels just like a beautiful 
Come on. It just felt like we needed the extended version tonight. Yeah, For the record, okay. the, on so the phone we... was the Spandau Ballet looking motherfucker against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that was Doug. Because oh, no. <laughs> the good old doctor good old. was sentenced on December 17th, 2001. 2001. Mm. Yep. Yeah, probation for mm. fraud. A former so this was going on while they were together years. already, right? Here, here, yes. here's, a, here's the whole thing in a couple of sentences. Exactly three years. A former oral surgeon for Fox Chappelle was sentenced in federal court last week to three years of probation for three years of probation for health care fraud. Mm. Robert F. Ostrowski, 60, was a licensed oral surgeon who created a false claim for payment for extension oral surgery procedures which he did not perform in order to receive $8,600 from National Mutual Insurance. That's in addition, all they reported. You know it's more in than addition, that. Last sentence. In addition That's to like the probation awesome. terms, senior U.S. District Judge Diamond also sentenced Ostrowski to six months of home detention and ordered him to pay $10,000 to perform 200 hours of community service. Wah, wah. <laughs> Yeah, go fix some hair lips in Guatemala, you stupid fucking doctor without borders. Now, that <laughs> aren't we proud of ourselves though? P putting that together like that perfect fit, the three years. I'm proud of for us. Eight, for three eight years, years, yeah. Two thousand. I know that audio. He did all that for eight G's. Eighty-six. Well, oh, that we know about. That's that's what we know about. That's that's what they know about. They know they ripped them off for hundreds of thousands. They know that. That's what we got caught with. Um, okay, so we're going to wrap up now. It is 12 14. You're not going to play me, uh, Bob calling NBA uh, 12, 14. NBA TV, Monique? What? Beth's dad tweeting NBA TV? What? Uh, what? You see that? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Beth's brother, no. Beth. It says Bob is from Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob, yes. NBA yes. TV. Oh, where's that? If you don't, we'll do it. <coughs> I don't know where it is. Hang on. I definitely sent it. Yeah, no big deal. Hang on, hang on, sir. Hang on, sir. Is it um is it a video? Is it it's not the video with D Snyder it's and MP4, yes. That one? D Snyder with um what? Uh, no. Okay. Uh NBA. Uh, Snyder, yes. Damn you, John. Damn you. Let me see if I can. Uh, it's pretty quick. It's like... Yeah, well, it might be pretty quick, but it's not quick enough for me to. Don't worry about it. You can play it tomorrow if you want. No, no, no. You started. Now I got to finish it. God damn you. Oh, damn it. The worst <laughs> human being. Now. Okay, open attachment. Mm, let's see if I can open this attachment. Hang on a second, sir. Um... <laughs> Okay, hold on. I gotta put it on VLC, which means now I gotta do. In the in the in the picture, you'll see uh, in Beth's dad's Twitter, you'll see her, Judy, and Bob in the picture. I have, but it's hard to see. You gotta really look hard. All right, here we go. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna play it. <clears throat> uh, uh, Xavier, can you take that uh, the Benjamin thing off? I, I, I had to do this very straight. They wouldn't read it other than I had to ask like a like an insightful Wait, what, what NBA I question. Mean, so I had to be like straight. I, I couldn't on. goof around too much. I just took it off. Right here. Me. Well, Welcome back. <laughs> Dr. Bob Ostrowski. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the, Greg Anthony say his name. <laughs> 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 when was this? Oh God, a couple of years ago. Oh, you so, the... so, how do you now share it? How do you share it now? Because I we didn't have time one time. I just found it on oh, our drive. Well, they get it. Age is like a just wine. To, oh, like a wine. Greg Anthony says his name. It's nice Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. Wine. All right, I love it. I love it. Here we go. Oski. I guess this is a night where anything can happen. If Tristan Thompson can shoot a three, <laughs> can a brother get a DeAndre Jordan splash? That's a good call, Doc. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> early, too. It was like six minutes to go in the game. I don't know if, um, if, um, wait, so who has the most threes, you would think? I got to get a hell look it up. Tristan Thompson or DeAndre Jordan? Makes. I'm going to say. Go to the very beginning, Monique, to see if Greg Anthony say his name. It's a 
Welcome back, Dr. Bob Ostrowski. I guess this is a night where anything can happen. If Tristan Thompson can shoot a three, <laughs> can a brother get a DeAndre Jordan splashed? Oh my God, you're so funny, John. That is awesome. So, you you got you can't you can't you know you got to play it straight. I had to ask like a real question because they're yeah, never going to read it. So they're funny. betting it. Oh, no, brother, just to hear. <laughs> That's the, I'm trying to act. I'm trying to get my hoodie pass. <laughs> Bob, Bob Ostrowski going, get her brother. You are so ridiculous. All right, we are now finally going to end the show. Which Yay! song? Okay, so so. Running with the karaoke, which was hysterical yesterday, John. That was, that that was beautiful. In the evening. So here's what you, the lovely listeners out there, have the choice of: <laughs> you have um, West End Girls by Pet Shop Boys, Ooh. you have Red Light Special by TLC, Ooh. or you have All I Need by Jack Wagner. So I'm going <laughs> to give you guys three Damn. minutes to let me know. I know what you're choosing, Monique. But I know what I'm choosing. I know what you want. I like Pet Shop Boys, of course. Yeah, that was my that's okay. That's okay. I would like to hear what the what the, <laughs> the crew. Everybody's like, who? Who? What? <laughs> You're nice special though. It's kind of special. Do you know that song, Dennis? Yes, I do. Look at you. Okay. Uh, all, over the place. Nice special. all over the place. I didn't think people knew that. It was like a good video, CCR, but it wasn't right? playing on the radio. Yeah. Uh, mashup of all oh, crazy things. Robin, of course. Thanks, Red Lights. Well, let's see. One is 54 seconds, one is a minute, and one is 42 seconds. I think you're right, Sinlu. I think we do a mashup. Here we go. Here's your favorite uh, boy singing us out for tonight. Video? Oh, Too many shadows whispering voices. If you play the video, it's funny to watch the lyrics go by. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me, let me stop this. I got to yeah. share it again. <laughs> Karaoke. <laughs> this is Depioki. <laughs> Depioki, baby. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go back. Too many shadows, whispering voices, faces on faces, too many choices. If, if, why, what, how much have you got? You got it together or so how often would you choose a hard or soft option? <laughs> In a West End town and dead end world. East End boys and West End girls. <laughs> In a West End town and dead end world. East End boys and West End girls. West End girls. <laughs> ridiculous it's so funny you could do that it, the karaoke music is so funny to listen oh, it's to great it's great and i'm talking about mia the, the, the music is so me. funny you're killing me with these pictures too. That's, by the way monique <laughs> <laughs> that really is depp on the right as traded he did a trump movie for the funnier die series yeah so that's him with the fat boys oh you're, you're kidding <laughs> John, I love you so much. Your <laughs> voice is almost as awful as a human being can well, be. It's deliberately this, awful. It's it awful anyway. Delicious. But... It is deliciously hard. But it's so deep. It's yeah. awesome. oh, so that's deep. how I want the Hollywood vampires. Phenomenal. Yeah. I'll tell you mine. I'm feeling quite sexy and I want for tonight. If I move too fast, just let me know. Cause it means you move too slow. I like some excitement and I like the yours, of yours. If you want it tonight, I'll give you the death life special. All through the night, baby, it's yours. Of course, oh if you want to, come through my door, take off my clothes, oh and turn on the tap light. <laughs> oh, the guitar in that wow. song is actually really good. <laughs> 
Wow. You are killing me. And, and, and last, but certainly not Jack least, and John, I feel like I need more of these. Not going to lie. Oh, yeah. I got plenty um, of Okay. Here we go. This is the last one. Jack Wagner. No stars are out tonight. <laughs> but we're shining on all night. And it never felt so <laughs> Cause, girl, the way I'm feeling, it's easy to believe. That you're all I need. <laughs> 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 You're all I need. You're all I need. You guys know that song, right? Yes, I do. Jesus, I've never heard. I've never heard it. I've never heard it performed like that. Ah. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's as amazing as shit gets. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at radiogunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Radio Gunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.